Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Home Fit Quarantine Edition. Today is gonna to be focused again on my mature audience. This can be anyone who's considered a senior or active older adult, anyone who's struggling with arthritis, just coming back from an injury, struggles with range of motion, or just looking for something that's a little bit more low impact on the cardio side. So today's session is gonna be about strength, cardio, and balance in a mix, and we're gonna go for about 30 minutes for actual work time. So we're gonna start with our warm-up, but so you're prepared, water, of course. You're gonna have two cans. If you have hand weights, fantastic. These are two cans of garbanzo beans. I actually was able to say that this time. And a chair, that's all you're gonna need. I am not wearing shoes, but you can wear shoes, of course, up to you. So we're gonna start with our warm up. You're just gonna keep these by your side and have space near you so you can be able to move around just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna start with just a nice low march. Knees are moving forward. I want you to pull that belly button in so instead of letting your hips go out, you're tucking them underneath you a little bit and you immediately feel your core engage. So start to move those arms, stay right here in this march. Bentley is joining, he is marching around as well. All right, so you wanna keep those feet so they're underneath your hips and you're moving those arms, trying to loosen up your shoulders and just try to relax. We all have got a lot going on right now and we just wanna relax. We wanna breathe, get our minds into that workout zone so we're focused on ourselves, we're focused on our body, we are in tune and we are getting warmed up mentally and physically. All right, so we are going to incorporate a chest fly here. Legs are gonna keep going, arms out to your sides here, and you're gonna chest fly in and out. So we wanna stretch back, open it up, and then close. Open it up and close. Don't let those shoulders come up, keep them down. Focus on the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, squeeze your chest. Legs keep moving. Good, keep going. Perfect. Three more, all the way out. All the way in, out, squeeze, in, squeeze, out, squeeze, in, squeeze. One more, out, and in, good. Keep those legs going, but we're gonna slow it down. Good, nice and slow. Now reach those arms up, and now as a knee comes down, you're gonna pull the elbows down by your side, so it's really nice and slow. And you can keep the knee raise lower, so you feel a little bit more like you're warming up that balance and not going too much too soon. Knee can stay low or you can bring it up high, but squeeze the elbows down by your sides. Perfect, good. And breathe for five. Both sides, squeeze. Squeeze those elbows, warming up your back. Perfect, three. Two more, both sides, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Last one, squeeze, good job. Feet together, we're gonna go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, good. Keep saying it in your head, good. And then if you've got it, just pick up the pace a little bit. Good, so it's a little bit of a hip opener, but you're also challenging your mind to really get focused on your body. You can start to move those arms if that feels good. Perfect, keep going. Breathe, breathe, awesome job. And five, four, three, two, one more, out, out, in, in. All right, so we're gonna go overhead reach. Right arm overhead, right toe is gonna point. So we're gonna overhead reach, back to center, same side. Overhead reach, back to center. So we're putting a lot of body weight into that opposite leg, reach. Think about making a straight line, toes to fingers. Straight line, reach, good. Now inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more like that, adding in that breath. Back to center, opposite side, reach, center, reach, center, good. Perfect, add in that breath, exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more like that. Good job, and back to center, perfect. Cross the body, so we're gonna stand a little bit wider. Right arm is gonna reach over to the left as we twist the right toe, center. Left to right, twist the left toe, center. 
right to left, left to right. Reaching across that body, twisting and reaching. Good, now take a look at me. Hip stay forward. Now lower body is quiet and you're just twisting through the upper body. Lower body stay still. Now you're feeling a little bit more of a twist through that waistline. Pulling your belly button in. Good, warming it up. And three, perfect. Two, one more both sides. Awesome job. All right, we are headed into our first circuit. Take a quick sip of water if you like to, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started two times through both of these circuits. Our rest time is gonna be pretty quick though. All right, two cans, a chair, water. Take a sip, and when you're ready, you're gonna need both your cans, and you're gonna need that chair, and we're gonna actually have a seat. Hi. I know. All right, so if you take a look at me, my back is flat, rolling my shoulder blades down and back. I'm gonna stay here, okay? But now I'm gonna face you. I'm not resting up against this chair like I'm flipping through a magazine, okay? We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're just really using the seat. So we're not gonna incorporate our lower body here. We're focusing on our core staying tight in order to keep that posture, okay? Can in both hands. I'm gonna sit forward a little bit. So knee to the middle of my thigh is off that chair. Hands down by your side, roll the shoulder blades down and back, staying here. We're gonna go out to our sides for a lateral raise, focusing on those shoulders. Good. So tune in with those hands real quick. Do you have a death grip on those hands? Death grip on those cans? Okay, well, release it. Now release those knees from each other. Feet are flat on the ground. Ankles right underneath those knees, keep it there. Don't let those knees start to come in. Push the knees out. Good. Now when you wear a t-shirt with those cap sleeves, right where those sleeves hit on a short sleeve shirt, that's where I want you to focus on as we raise these cans up. Good. Raise it up, focus on that part, squeeze. Don't whip it up, control. That's all we're doing here. In a seated position, we wanna have that control. And here we go for four. Good job, three, two, and one. Good, lower it down. Now we're gonna curl it up so our thumbs are facing our shoulders, okay? And we're gonna go for an alternating shoulder press. So elbows go forward a little bit, not down here, bring them up, and alternating shoulder press. From the side so you can see me, I'm pressing it up, trying to bring my hands straight up towards the ceiling. So if you can't look like my position here, okay? If you're going more like this, then I don't want you to go perfectly straight. I want you to come just a little bit, about three quarters of the way. All right, so if you're going all the way straight, you should be able to bring it back a little bit so that bicep gets in line with your ear. Otherwise, I want you just to do that three quarter rep. Keep going. Good. There you go, and now try to keep it in that same track. So as I push it up, I'm not allowing it to come to center. I'm going straight up to the ceiling and straight back down. Good, think about trying to make a straight line as if your elbow was a crayon and you're making a straight line on the piece of paper in front of you. Straight up, straight down. Good, there you go. And five, both sides. Keep that core tight and engaged, but you're still able to keep that breath going. Good, we'll do two more, both sides. Nice job. One and one, good. All right, we're gonna lower it right down. I'm gonna go to that front raise. So we're gonna raise it all the way up, thumbs towards the ceiling. So we're gonna go a little bit at an angle. So we're out wide, up at an angle without letting those cans touch each other at the top. Good, now keep rolling those shoulder blades down and back. So we wanna use our chest in the front of our shoulders here. We don't wanna hike it up and start to use our back. That doesn't do anything. Roll it down, keep it up. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one. Good, I'm gonna have you fold it up to you in a curl. Hold it here against your chest nice and close. And we're gonna go to sit to stand. So we're gonna have those feet a little bit wider, as wide as the legs of your chair, and drive through the heels of your feet and center of your feet to stand all the way up 
squeeze into your glutes and now sit all the way back down. All the way up, all the way down. Good, now exhale up, inhale down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, good. Breathe, perfect. Now go for a light tap on the chair so you still have majority of your body weight in those feet. You'll touch the chair nice and light and come right back up, squeeze. Good, and squeeze. Now put all your body weight back into that seat so you can feel your body weight coming out of your feet and into that chair. Good, so it's a little bit slower. Perfect, four more. Drive through your feet. You should be able to wiggle those toes. Good. Perfect. Let's do two more, all the way up. One more. Awesome job, good. We're gonna go ahead and put these right down to your chair. I'm gonna come off to the, I'm gonna come off to the side, twisting my chair. We're gonna go for a reverse lunge to a knee raise. Right leg, I'm gonna reach behind me. This is my reverse lunge, bending both knees. As I stand, I'm driving that right knee up. Now I'm holding onto a chair, don't let go of that chair. Now bring it back, stand it up, driving that knee up, 90 degree angle with that right leg. Bring it back, stand it up, bring it back, stand it up, good. If this is too fast, slow it down. You wanna take your time, my left leg is my working leg here, but as I stand, I'm squeezing my core. So I'm gonna stand up, exhale, and you wanna activate that right leg. So as you come up, you're gonna squeeze here. Keep it tight like you're flexing that leg. Flex it up. Good. Control back, flex and stand. Perfect. Keep using that chair. Pay attention to your upper body. You don't wanna brace. You're just using assistance. Let's do two more. Bring it back, stand it up, bring it back, stand it up. Good job, now we're gonna switch. So, you can switch sides with your chair as well if you need to, otherwise stay in that same position. All right, now my right leg's gonna stay up, my left leg's gonna reach back. Reach it back, stand it up, the left knee comes up. Reach it back, stand it up. Now same thing here, I'm not bracing in my upper body, I'm really holding onto that chair with a death grip. If that's the case, if you're a little uncomfortable, step it up, just toe to the ground. Bring it back, toe to the ground. Choose your challenge. Good. Nice and slow, control. Inhale, exhale, tighten your core by pulling that belly button in. Exhale up, squeeze and control. Flexing into that left leg, 90 degree angle. Good, you got it, breathe. Perfect, and two more, bring it back. Up, exhale, bring it back. Up, exhale, good job, lower it down. Take a quick sip of water, and we're gonna do that again with a little progression. All right, hope you had a sip of water. Had that breath moving, feeling really nice and warm. I regret putting these socks on. We're gonna go back to that can seated lateral raise. Can in both hands. Drop the arms long by your side, roll the shoulder blades down and back. You can feel that immediately. Now keep it there. Raise it up, lower it down. Raise it up, lower it down. Try not to touch the chair with the can at the bottom of this movement. And when you bring it up, it shouldn't look like this where you're almost like ducking down, trying to raise those hands up. It should be that your shoulders are just able to raise that weight up. If you find yourself doing that old tuck, I want you to drop the hands and just use your body weight. I hope you're listening to me. And don't just keep going through it. Take your time. This should be slow and controlled. As if, if I needed to stop at the top and hold with a pause because Hannah says to pause at the top and hold, I should be able to. And lower. Good. All the way up all the way down. Push those feet into the ground. Watch those knees so they don't start to come together. Push the feet into the ground. Raise it up to five. Four. Three. Two. 
and one at the bottom. Flip your palms forward. Pinkies are towards my legs. Keeping it here, little bend in the elbow. We're gonna raise it all the way up. Palms are still facing away. Now thumbs are close to each other. Bring it all the way down. Pinkies. All the way up, thumbs are close. All the way down, pinkies are close together. Good. Now we're focusing mainly on those shoulders, but pay attention to your posture. If you feel like you can't get those arms all the way overhead and it's coming here, I don't want you to go all the way up. I want you to only come up as high as you can without that sacrifice in your posture. All the way up, as high as you can. Breathe, good. All the way up for three. Perfect, check in with that posture. All the way up, two. Perfect, one more, all the way up. All the way down, very good. We're gonna go for the alternating shoulder press. All right, so staying here, alternate the shoulder, press it all the way up, nice and controlled, none of this action, all right? One does the rep, all the way down, all the way up, and then the other does the rep. Good, there you go. Check in with yourself you're breathing, you're focusing on those shoulders, you're not using your neck, good. Keep your mind in the muscle that you're using, shoulders, chest, core is tight. There you go, good. And now we're gonna do one more, both sides. Perfect, now we're gonna do eight together. All the way up, all the way down, or just three quarters if that's your range of motion. Breathe. Good, and we're here for four. Perfect, three, two, and one. Awesome job. We're gonna go into a front wrap. So back to this position, palms face you. You can rest the hands on your shoulders, on your chest, and you're gonna go back to that sit to stand. So we're gonna widen your feet up. Knees go out just a little bit. Drive through the center of your feet, stand up, squeeze glutes. Down and up. I'm gonna step back a little bit. And keep going, all the way down, all the way up. Good. Now check in with yourself. Right now we're sitting all the way down, so the weight's coming off of our feet. You can feel that little change. Good, keep breathing. At the top, we're still squeezing those glutes. Good. One more like this. Awesome job, and now light touch for five. Touch all the way up, squeeze. Down, light touch, back up four. Light touch, back up three. You got it. One more. Perfect job. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go for that assisted reverse lunge to knee raise. Right leg is going to be up front. My left hand is on. My left leg draws back. So we're doing it a little bit differently this time. Left leg goes back, draw it up. Bring it back, draw it up, bring it back. If you don't feel like you need assistance any longer, you can just hover that hand, challenge yourself a little bit, see that you were relying on the chair more than you thought. If you need it again, put your hand back. If not, maybe both hands to your hips. Exhale up, now have that control. And again, if you need to, toe to the ground. Reverse lunge, toe to the ground. Hand on or hand off, but you need to be able to control it before you take that hand off. Here for three. We're gonna hold it at the top. Two, one more, and hold. If your hand is on, toy with this a little bit. Just hover your hand. Good, belly button is in. Don't let that left knee start to cross your body. When you look at that left knee, look at it. It should be in line with that left hip. Good, and lower it down. Good job, opposite side. All right, here we go. Now left leg forward, right leg back. Reach back, reverse lunge, stand, bring that knee up. Reverse lunge, and stand. Now if you gave your challenge on the other side, you gotta do it here. Start to hover that hand. Good, adjust. You're gonna rely a little bit more on your core. You're gonna to wanna to squeeze that left glute underneath your hip a little bit more. Good, maybe both hands come to your hips. Control, good. We're gonna hold at the top in three. Perfect. Two, 
and one, hold it at the top. If your hand is on, challenge yourself and just hover. Belly button is back to that spine. You're breathing, squeezing that left glute. Check in with that right knee. It should be in line with your right hip. Good, hold it. And release, good job. All right, quick sip of water and we're gonna move on to circuit two. Go through that twice and cool it down. You're doing great. All right, welcome back. We are going into our second circuit. So we're going to be standing for this entire circuit here. We are still gonna need your, your cans and your chair though, so keep that right nearby. First portion here is gonna be a shuffle run, which is really just heels off the ground and you're going to bounce on the balls of your feet back and forth, just like this. If you're like, I don't get it, I don't like it, just jog right here. Same idea. This is gonna challenge your head a little bit. It's also gonna challenge your core a little bit more because your legs are just skating back and forth. Good, so now you're moving your arms just like you would in your jog. So you're jogging or you're shuffle running. Stay here, it's nice and light, low impact. Just breathe, good. Keep going, keep breathing. Good job, and five, four, three, two, and one, good job. We're gonna take those cans. We're gonna hold it from the ends. So instead of the center, from one of the ends. So, I don't want it to be that your palms are touching. I want it to be that your palms are off, creating a little concave hole between your palm and the top of that can. All right, so holding both cans, squeezing a little bit here, is gonna challenge your grip strength a little bit. So, roll those shoulder blades down and back. Feet are hip width, if not a little bit more narrow. If you want to sit over your chair for a little bit of a confidence boost here, you can. If you want that challenge without it, stay right here. Narrow squat. Arms are gonna hang by your sides and stand and squeeze. Narrow squat. The narrow is your stance. So your feet are hip width, if not a little bit more narrow. But same idea. Hips reach back, then you bend those knees, drive up and stand. Your core is tight, so you want to think about having a flat back as you come down to that squat. We don't want to see it out and round, and we also don't want to go forward. Flat back, push the hips back, and then bend the knees. Still squeezing into those cans, still trying to keep that posture so your shoulder blades are back together, chest stays open, and now keep your eye gaze forward. You got it. Two more. Good job, one more. Perfect job. All right, now we are gonna flip and hold the wide part of that can with both hands. And we're gonna go for a bent over row. From the side, nice and tall. Now I'm gonna hinge forward, hinge is from the hips. Picture a door hinge, and it's gonna start to hinge here as the hips reach back, like I'm trying to reach for the wall behind me. Little bend in those knees, and now my arms are just hanging here. Before we start, keep the arms straight. Just try to squeeze your shoulder blades. Arms stay straight, don't bring them back, straight. And now palms are facing each other and we're gonna pull the elbows back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Straight arms, pull back the elbow. Now, take a look at me just real quick. We're not going here and then pulling. We're going here, shoulder blades back and down and then row, now keep it here. Don't release those shoulders. Keep thinking about squeezing those shoulder blades. Pull it back for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, staying here, four is tight. We're gonna angle so the palms face your thighs and go out a little bit wider. Same thing, squeeze those shoulder blades. No death grip on that can. Pull it back, five, four, three, Two, and a one. Good job. All right, both hands on that chair. We're gonna go for a single leg touch, all right? So, two ways. First way, I'm gonna have my right leg down, okay? Foot is flat. My left foot is a kickstand, so just the ball of my foot is on the ground, heel is off. Now my right leg is gonna go a little bit straighter 
than my left, but there's still a bend in that right knee a little bit here. So slight bend right, large bend left. Now I'm gonna push my hips back like I do in a squat as I reach in the opposite direction with my hands to try and touch those cans, all right? So from here, this is what it looks like. Watch me first. Hips go back as you lean forward, reach for those cans, back up. Hips back, arms forward, touch the cans. Back up, see how slow I'm going? All right, now, if this is your point, join me, okay? This is gonna be where we all start. Now, if this is like, oh, this feels good, I don't feel too much of a balance challenge here, I want you to go ahead and try to bring your toes off the ground and just hover them back here. Squeeze more into that right glute, and now hips go back, reach forward, touch the can, stand. Now I want you to squeeze those glutes. Your left leg isn't just loosey-goosey hanging back here. You're flexing those thighs, flexing your glutes, pushing your hips back. As you push your hips back, that right knee bends a little bit. As you reach forward, touch the cans, stand, squeeze. Keep moving your breath. You've got it, two more. Reach, and up. One more, reach, and up. Very good, opposite side. Start with your kickstand, because that's what we did on the last side. Same thing. Hips go back, reach for that can. Stand up, squeeze. Hips back, arms forward. Stand, squeeze. Hips back. Good, slow, slow, slow. If you removed it and went for that challenge, you do the same thing here. Bring that foot off the ground, give yourself a second. Squeeze legs, squeeze glutes. Hips go back. As your arms reach forward, stand and squeeze. Hips back first. Start to reach, touch, stand, squeeze. All right, take a sip of that water really quick. Last circuit through. We are back one more time. We're gonna start with that shuffle run or your jog. So if you're jogging, your knees are going forward, nice and light on the feet. You're gonna stay right here. If you like the shuffle run, you're just in the balls of your feet. So the heels stay off all the way through. Just keep bouncing. Think about the second the balls of your feet touch the ground, you're hopping right back off like it's hot, hot floor. Good. Keep moving those arms, whether you're in a jog or you're in the shuffle run. Good, now if you're in here with the shuffle run, squeeze your glutes a little bit more. Squeeze your thighs a little bit more. You can make your body work a little bit harder without adding weight or a huge challenge. Just flex into your muscles. Here for three, two, and one. Good job, grab the tops of those cans. Narrow squat, arms by your sides, feet hip width or more inward. All right, hips go back first, then bend your knees, down into that squat, stand, squeeze. Hips back, bend your knees, stand, squeeze. Slow, take your time, slow. Good, now focus on your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. As you stand, keep pressure in the heels and in the center of your feet. Pay attention to those knees so they don't start to move inward. Good. There you go. Knees stay straight. Right over those ankles, don't let them cave in. Perfect, three more. And we're gonna hold it at the bottom. Two, and now hold at the bottom. Good, stay here, core is tight. Eye gaze ahead, but at the floor. Good, breathe. Stay tight, weight in those heels. Squeeze the tops of those cans. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, all right, bent over rows. So, Holding the center of the cans here. Same idea, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Pull that belly button in. We're gonna lean forward as we push the hips back, arms stay long. All right, shoulder blades back first, arms stay straight. And now pull back the elbows. As you pull the elbows back, you're squeezing the shoulder blades. Now we don't need to come back here. You wanna just pass the line of your body. That's it. That's all the range of motion you need. Just pass the line of your body. Squeeze. Squeeze, let's do three. Exhale back. One more. 
Good, let the arms hang again. Shoulder blades back. Palms face your thighs now. And now out to the side, so we're going a little bit wider with this pull. Again, no death grip on those cans. Pull it back, squeeze, bend those elbows. And three, two, you got it. And one, good job. Cans to the chair. Single leg. Now we're gonna start with the left foot down. Right foot kickstand if you're gonna stay here. If you wanna go right to that progression, foot off. Now squeeze inner thighs together. Squeeze your glutes. And now hips are gonna reach back as we reach the arms forward. Little bend in that left knee, stand, squeeze. Hips back, reach forward, touch. Stand, squeeze. Reach back. Stand, squeeze. Two more like this. Reach back. Take your time. If I'm going faster than you, just you go at your pace. Good, now at the top of this, draw that right knee up, hold. Core is tight. If you need to hold something or your toes on the ground, that's fine. Breathe, focus on that balance. Left leg is strong and release. Right leg down, left foot kickstand or off the ground, squeeze inner thighs, squeeze glutes. And now last time here, hips go back, reach for the cans, touch, bring it up. Hips back, reach forward, touch, bring it up. You got it. Taking your time, good control. Heels gotta stay on that ground. Keep it on the floor, reach back. Still squeezing inner thighs, still squeezing glutes. Good, let's do one more and we're gonna hold at the top here. Touch, stand up nice and slow. Once you're here, draw that leg up, flexing that leg, flexing that foot. Core is tight, belly button is in. If you're here, that's fine. Do the same thing you did on the opposite side. Breathe, tight. Right leg strong, and release. Good job. All right, off to the side with this, and we're gonna cool it down. So I just want you to sway side to side, lifting your heels off the floor. Good. Breathe now, you're doing great. Breathe. Little shake, hands all the way up to those shoulders. Move it around a little bit, a couple shoulder rolls. Just try to relax. You're letting your body know that you're done squeezing and flexing and you just wanna lengthen. Good, all right, and relax those arms. Keep moving those legs, swaying your body weight side to side. Perfect job. All right, keeping that wide stance, you're just gonna reach overhead and you're gonna reach down the side of your leg as you reach overhead. Perfect, reach. Awesome, reach. There you go, breathe. One leg reaching down your body, other leg reaching overhead or arm. Whew, gosh, not the leg. Keep that down. One more side to side. Reach and reach. Good job. Bring those feet a little bit closer so they're more hip width. You're gonna bring your hands to your hips and you're just gonna go left, center, right. Good, you're gonna feel a little stretch through your side, maybe in the lower back. Try not to brace. You're just gonna feel a little stretch. You shouldn't be like, oh yeah, more pain, more gain. Just a little stretch. Perfect. Good, now you're just gonna reach them back. And then center, a little, maybe a little bit past center. Back and center. Now, so you're gonna think that you want to reach as far back in both directions, but you don't. It's just a slight stretch. My legs are gonna stay straight though. Posture is still there, we're still breathing. Perfect job. Now if you need assistance, hold on to your chair, a wall, whatever you need. Right leg, straight, toe off the ground, heel down. Left knee bent. We're gonna lean forward. We are stretching that right hamstring and into that right calf a little bit as well. So calf, hamstring, glute all the way back. We're sitting back or we're using a wall or something to assist you so you still have your balance accounted for. Back up, switch legs. Left heel down, toe up, left leg straight, right knee is bending. Hips go back as we lean forward. Same idea here. Holding on for assistance. We're just focusing on lengthening. Breathe one more and stand. 
Good job. So hold on here for assistance. You can grab your ankle, your sock, your pant leg, or just hold it back. The idea is we're trying to lengthen out that quad. Knees are in line. Don't bring it forward or out to the side. Knees in line. Take a look. Knees in line. Keep your foot and everything where it is, and now push your hips forward. If it's like this, just keep holding on. Or if you're holding it, make sure you're trying to hold your ankle and not your foot. Breathe and switch sides. Still have assistance. Do the same thing you did on the opposite side, even if you're like, I'm more flexible on this side. Doesn't matter, keep it the same. Hold that ankle or just hold it back, knees in line. Push your hips forward, furthering that stretch in your quad. Breathe, and we're holding onto the ankle, not the foot. Nice job, and rest. You guys did awesome, so happy to have you here. Drink your water, stay healthy, stay positive, and we will see you soon.